You've got an enormous bump on your head. Can, can you let them see it? I don't know whether you... There you go. Right up there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Damon Hill wins the Japanese Grand Prix and I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. Got to stop, that doesn't often happen to the, uh, the man whose voice is the very sound of squealing tyres, Murray Walker. This. <laughs> Love you. We have long enough to love you, haven't we? Because uh, how long have you been doing commentating? Uh, in just a few months, Bob, it's going to be uh, 50 years, which is a long time. Yeah. And we've managed to crush it all into the video, which took a bit of doing. I it's a wonderfully that. funny video and marvellously spectacular. How do you like but, it? But uh, also, I'm uh, so grateful that your wonderful goofs are included. <laughs> which are, <laughs> you've been quoted enough times in Private Eye and everywhere else. Which are your favourite ones? Because um, you didn't know you were going to say them when you said them. Uh, the car in front is absolutely unique, except for the one behind it, which is identical. <laughs> uh, uh, Tombe's hopes, which were previously nil, are now absolutely zero. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so it goes. No, uh, I like uh, with the race half over, we still have half a race to go. <laughs> and weren't you the man who said it's raining and the track is wet? This is lap 74, <laughs> the next is 75. <laughs> <laughs> And there's no damage to the car except to the car itself. <laughs> <laughs> Murray's brought along a, a rising uh, star, really, uh, in Formula One racing, complete with his car. But before we can meet him, let's find out what else the future holds. Stay with me, please, Murray, and we'll turn to Laurie's fortune cookie, the kind of girl any man would be proud to take home to smother. Here. Ah. <laughs> Never mind. Perhaps they can freeze her until we find a cure. <laughs> Hey, the music next. From going to be driven by Giancarlo Fisichella. Very good to see you. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful racing driver. I don't know how you get for that thing. <laughs> so, uh, what, is, what is this car, uh, Murray? What kind of make of car is this? This is a Jordan with a Peugeot engine to change no. to Honda next year, if that's of any interest. No to tax you. disc, bald tyres. No windscreen wipers. <laughs> I tell you, around here, Shepherd's Bush, we're on Shepherd's Bush. Keep your eye on this. You turn away for 30 seconds, this will be up on bricks. <laughs> They've had the windscreen wiper already, you realise that, do you? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, do you, Jane Calvin? Not a single word. Because <laughs> you're Italian, aren't you? So this is left-hand drive. Now, uh, <laughs> do you want to ask her, Jane Calvin, or anything? <laughs> you've had a wonderful year. You nearly won the German Grand Prix in your first full year. But you're going to Benetton next year. How can you dare to leave Jordan? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy about the 1997 90, season with the Jordan team. Uh, I finished third in Canada, uh -huh. second in Belgium. Uh -huh. Thank you very uh, much, Giancarlo. We can't you. understand a word. Murray is really <laughs> the man we have to turn to now. Would you start the button for us? Yes. Just press the button. Yes, Thank absolutely. You so. This week, this is our slogan, Giancarlo. We're so tired of being skint. Come on, Murray, make a cement. Straight on Saturday the 8th of November, time for the 196th National Lottery Draw live on BBC One and Radio 5 Live. Drawmaster Willen, please start up Guinevere. Midweek there were four jackpot winners who shared just over £4 million and just eight runners-up matched five plus the bonus to win £155,000 apiece. Guinevere's working well. Release those big money balls. Jackpot tonight, an estimated £8.3 million. Murray Walker, please press the button and start tonight's... With a 